Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Catterwall Diaries. I'm your host, Captain Birdie Man FM, and I welcome you to this football manager long-term save. You know the drill, everyone. This is Lee Catterwall. This is VVV Venlo, and we are going for world domination. The first time I've said that. Probably just a European championship would be very, very happy. Any of them. Champions League, Europa League, I will be bloody happy with any of them. Right, we are now about to play in the Europa Playoff Final, not the Europa League, the Dutch Playoff Europe League Final, whatever you want to call it. First leg against FC Untracked. We've just beaten FC Grodigan. If you missed it in the, episode, in the last episode, then why are you watching it from here? You should have watched the last episode. You've just had a spoiler. We're in the final. Let's just get on with the game. We are seen as the favourites going into this game. I can't remember where they actually finished in the league. But it doesn't matter. I know they beat us once this season as well. So it's a it's a toss of a coin. I'm telling you now. And this is the starting 11 that we're going to be going with. Dean Gannett is very tired out there. So we're probably going to bring him off in the game. But it's Del Ferraro. However, Leroy, Panzo, DeMarco, Agumi, Amrabat, Lindhurst, Dean Gannett, Gomez and Lopez up top. Come on. Let's go and bloody do it. Right, so let's look at their team. Everyone always goes with form, this formation in, in in Holland. Every single team, every single bloody time. Van Hoverim always stands out. Gerk, Kirk, sorry, shall I say, over on this right hand side. He was once upon a time when they beat us 6-0 in the first season. Got to go in, as I always say, we are the away team in the first leg. We owe FC Untracked after the last game. Go out there and get revenge. I always like saying that to the players. And then I'm going to come in there and say, I've got faith in you. Let's go out there and do the business. Well, it's been a very quick 20 minutes and absolutely zero, zero highlights so far. And, but I say that, and after 25, here we go. We are on attack. It's however, Amrabat puts it in there. Gomez is there with the header, but it's straight at the goalkeeper and he makes the save. Is that the end of the highlight? I don't think it is. The ball's pumped up the field. Panzo wins the header. Agumi picks it back up. We're back onto this. It's Lopez now coming forward. It's Lindhurst comes forward. He tries to put the ball over the top. He's headed away and Untrak are coming away with it. And it's Gurk again. And he's going to beat DeMarco. And he's beaten DeMarco on that left-hand side. And the winger pulls it back to Ramazlea or something. Essen Bauer to Van Overeem. And there they go for the strike. But it goes over the top of the bar. Highlight, 31 minutes. And it's going to fall for FC Untracht. And here comes Essen Bauer to Ramazlea. And it comes back to Kirk again. And it comes all the way back out to this right back. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. But it's what's going in there. DiMarco dives in. He's having a shocker already today. He's been beaten a couple of times. It's going to go to VAR. I think the penalty is given. And Untracked have got the chance to draw first blood. Or will Del Ferraro make the save? The goal is scored. And it is 1-0 to Untracked. And they are beating us in this first leg. After 32 minutes, the goalkeeper had absolute no chance whatsoever. Powered in to the bottom corner. 1-0. Come on, boys. Free kick. Van Hoverim. It could be two here. It's going to be two. It's bouncing around. Wow. It come off Del Ferraro in goal and went out for a corner. We are all over the shot. Here we go. Edit again. Del Ferraro wins the header. Come on. Jesus. H. Christ. We just need to get to the break. And then I can at least tell the lads that they have been not the best. Disappointing. Absolutely. Can that make a difference? DiMarco is making a lot of mistakes today. Well, shit me not, eh? Tell me something different. Here comes however now on the right back position. Gives it to Leroy. Leroy pumps the ball at the field. And we're not getting on to that. Our strikers are there. Well, they're not there. That's what I'm trying to say again. And they're passing it round us like... We are not even not on the pitch. Here comes Kirk now. Kirk on this right side. Going to put the ball into the box. Do not let them score. Big save from the goalkeeper. We're going to make some changes straight away. Look at us. We are all over the shop. Here we go. Right, we're going to get Gomez off on this uh, left-hand side because he's nervous and he's just not having a good game. Let's just be completely honest with everything. We're going to get Bastians on the left-hand side. We're going to get Dean Ganner off because he's been absolutely rubbish as well. And we're going to get Willian on the right-hand side. And then I'm just looking at DiMarco at left back. We're going to get him off. And we're going to probably get a central defender on. I'm looking at Parola, who then can come on and play in the same position. And Panzo can come over to the left back position. Parola, though, could go as a central defender on defence. And that's where he'll do a good job for us. Come on, free substitutes. Let's try and make a difference in this game. If we can somehow sneak a goal, it will mean the world to walk away. 
with a draw will be absolutely massive. But we've got to create more chances and we're just not at the minute. Our shots are do just are sneaking up though. We've had a couple more on target but nothing to make the goalkeeper work just yet. And we are coming into the 80th minute and it looks like it's just going to end 1-0 this. It's been a very, very, very poor game of football once again. And we've not provided anything. William and Bastian have come on to a 6.3 and a 6.4. So thanks, lads. Thanks for absolutely nothing. 1-0 down after the first leg. And we were bloody rubbish. Disappointing. Absolutely. Get off. Right, there's confirmation. We lost that game. We've now got to go and turn it around back at Venlo. I'll see you there in two ticks. Right, here we go. The game of the season, the last one of the season, and it's a must win. We're only losing by one goal to nil. We are the favourites, but evens to win the match. I'm just going to ask my assistant manager who we should stick where. They're going for Gasserovic at right back for this game. We're also going to put him into his favourite position. We're going to go attacking on that side. Are we going to go attacking on this side? Yes, we bloody are. We're going for it. I've decided this is it. We've changed the mentality. We're going attacking. I want to change everyone's match fit apart from Panzo. So do I get him off? That's the main question. Do I change him around? Do I get a new centre half in? Pershaws are still injured. He'll be injured all season. Do we get Parola in? I think we do. I think we just do. I think Parola will come in as match fitness and we'll get him on as a defender. And that's how we're going to do it. So it's going to be Del Ferraro, Kasovic with Leroy, Parola, DiMarco, Agumi, Amrabat, Linhurst, Ian Gana, Gomez and Lopez up top. Let's go and get the win. This is it, lads. 5-0, thrashing. Right, they're going for a step, basically this very, very, very same starting eleven. Uh, only a few changes, just like us. I'm going to come in there. I'm going to say to the boys passionately, like I always do, we owe them after the last match. We bloody do, because we were rubbish, and they were there for the taking. They weren't even that good. Got faith in you. Got there. Make the difference. Let's do it. Highlight straight from the kickoff, and it's going to go to FC Untracht, and hopefully it doesn't come to anything. Kirk is coming forward. Kirk now puts it in there. Simmons with the header. Whew, and for one second, I thought that was actually going into the back of the net. Um, Parola now bringing it out. Leroy. Leroy to Kastovic. And this highlight is not over just yet. He just pumps the ball forward, though. And I feel like we're missing someone in the middle. I feel like there's too much of a big gap between the right back and the right midfielder. Hopefully, now they're on attack. It might not be so. Kastovic wins the ball back. And it comes to Lopez. Can we get off to the most perfect start? The answer is no. And we don't even get a corner for that. I thought that was a corner. He must have put it straight over the bar. Corner. Agumi puts it in there. Headed away. Amrabat's going to pick it up. Amrabat to Dean Ganna. Dean Ganna now. Goes for strike. There's Gomez. Is he offside? Is he offside? Is he onside? What's going off? The Westall has blown. And the ball. Oh, he's, cold. he's called off because he's offside. Right. DiMarco now. Puts the ball into the box. It's a call, penalty. It is. It's a penalty. We've been all over him in this game. The attacking mentality has changed things up. And I did it. I just took a chance. I says, forget it. We're getting off positive. And here comes Federico Di Marco. Misses. Half an hour gone. And things have just calmed down a little bit. We were miles on top. What a miss. What a chance to get back into this game. And we've done nothing since then. DiMarco's having an absolute shocker on that left-hand side as well. We could change him up at half-time. His head's all over the shot. Encourage the lads. But we are going to make DiMarco. We're going to get him off. And we're going to get him off for Jonathan Panzo. Straight swap. And as we get very dark in this room, I'm getting very dark on the screen down in the bottom corner. I'm using the natural light as my torchlight today. And... I'm gibbering away and we're coming up to the 70th minute. We've done absolutely nothing in the second half. I'm going to have to pause things and get some subs on. So we're just going to go with Conor Horahan. I'm going to make him into a box-to-box -box midfielder. So there are the substitutions. I've also told him to push forward, demand a little bit more. And we've got 15 minutes to do so. We're already on attacking, so we can't go any further up. I'm not going all out attack. Um, Baltazar Lopez, come on. Not one single highlight in the second half. And this is the game. Here we go. Conor Horan puts the ball into the box. Can we get one more chance? We've got to... This season's been mediocre. Let's not finish on a disappointment. We need something. Lopez is there. He's missed the chance. Bastions. Dean Gatter with the end. Is it the post? Ah! I don't believe it. Ah, that's it, innit? That's it. That's the chance. 6.1 Lopez is on. What a player. What a player. 
God, I miss Rhea Brewster. That's it. That's the game. It's over. And we've lost. And we're out. And we're not going to be in Europe next season. And, I mean, there you go, football manager. There you go. 21 shots. Four. And we draw nil-nil. I'm done. There's your confirmation. Not one. We scored one goal in four games. What a pile of crap. Basically, I need to change the formation. I need to change everything about this team. Definitely. 120 million percent. There we go. Send the assistant. We need to change things up. Let's get straight on to the end of season awards. Right, and as I go into complete darkness in the corner over here <laughs> to play the game at around 5 p.m., in UK time, we have now finally got to our end of season awards. Player of the season is Baltazar Lopez. Goal of the season is Amrabat. Is that at the end of the season? No, oh, it's on January. Can't remember that at all. Side of the season was Per Shaw's. He's probably one of going to want to leave now. Young player of the year was Baltazar Lopez as well. Top goal scorer was Lopez. Then we've got average rating. Ice average rating was Everett Lynn Hurst on a 7.28, which is fantastic. Most assist, Lynn Hurst and Dean Ganner. Then we've got Amrabat, the best passer. Most man of the match is Barcelona Lopez, and then discipline is a shared amongst a hell of a lot of players. Season review is not the best. Let's just say that. Do we get anything? Do we? Does it say how much money we're going to get this season? Absolutely zero. And that's all I'm going to bring you. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have. If you have, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. And do share amongst family and friends. If you are a new viewer, then please go and subscribe to my channel so you can check out all the other Football Manager content that I've got going off there. My name is Captain Betty Man FM. And if you want to keep up to date with me, what I am up to, then go and follow me on Twitter, Captain Betty Man FM, as well. Go and support the guys over at Passion for FM. They're supporting me this year. All the description is full of all their links. So go and check it out. I'll be back in a couple of days' time for season number six of the Catamall Diaries. Bye-bye. I'm in the dark. I'm actually in darkness now.